the Porsche IMSA GT3 Cup Challenge by Yokohama, a two-class challenge series for emerging talent and enthusiast racers. Platinum, the fastest class with the newest Porsche 911 Carrera GT3 Cup race cars. Gold, for 911s from 2009 model year and older. And within those two classes, a Masters Championship battle ensues. That's for drivers aged 45 and older. Tyres are from Yokohama, race cars are from Porsche. Setup is critical, but talent and racecraft are how you win. Every second counts. No mistake goes unpunished. Drivers aren't pros, but this isn't amateur hour. All of Porsche's factory races started in a series just like this. It's the largest single make series on the planet. This is the Porsche IMSA GT3 Cup Challenge presented by Yokohama. The circuit around the harbour area of downtown Baltimore, the only true street circuit on the IMSA GT3 Porsche Cup Challenge by Yokohama season. Tarmac, concrete, even railroad tracks to keep the drivers and the cars on their toes. It's the first time at Baltimore for these cars and drivers, so no one has local knowledge. Track time is at a premium. Sharing the streets with the IZOD IndyCar Series and the American Le Mans Series presented by Tequila Patron means that everyone needs to get down to business quickly and dial themselves and their high power machinery in to the treacherous streets of downtown Baltimore. We're coming down to the decision rounds of the championship. To be in with a chance of winning then you really have to shine from now till the end of the season. The leaders are now defined and the battle between Angel Benitez Jr and Madison Snow is really hotting up. It's as close as close can be and any mistakes here could cost them the trophies. Right now I'm in first, nine points ahead of Benitez and so hopefully I can finish, if I finish right around him that's great. I'm try, I'll try and finish ahead of him but we'll see, this course is pretty gnarly. I'm trying to stay off the curbs in the chicane it's not working almost every lap. I nick one or two of them. I've hit it a couple times. I've seen people hit it and the two wheels are way high off the ground. This is an IMSA development series. Drivers need to be on their game and on it early. No one has local knowledge. The series hasn't been here before. So it's a perfect opportunity for natural talent to shine. Having raced Formula cars here in the past, Colin Thompson is one of the few drivers who've seen the streets of Baltimore from a racing driver's perspective. For a new driver coming to Baltimore, the biggest thing is, is respect it. Know that the walls are right there, but don't back down any. And you need to be 100% because every other driver out there is going to fear it. And if you don't fear it, then you're going to be on top. But what of the other drivers? For most of the year, these are city streets. You can't do a test day, you can't take your race car out to try it out. So how do they learn the track? Practice, I mean, there's no, I couldn't find it on any video games or anything. And so when I first came to the track, I did about four laps, just walking around it, did a couple golf cart laps, and just tried to get familiar with it before I got on the actual track. Normally we have a, a faster driver to help us out with data. This time we didn't because we didn't have a test data for him to hop in the car and lay down a lap. So we had some data from last year, but it's mostly just looking at your team's uh, data that we have, and that would be Casey Coleman, and we looked at compared data and see who was faster in what section, and that's how we improved. An unfamiliar and unforgiving circuit. Bumpy, physical, and temperatures and humidity high. These are the most vicious conditions that we've seen all season. City streets, but no 40 miles an hour speed limit, and the first glimpse of the potential speed on track was seen in qualifying. But young star Madison Snow made a mistake, putting himself and his car in the wall. The first big shunt for Madison this season, but luckily not causing any damage to the chassis or the tub. The team were able to fix the car by race morning. The IMSA GT3 Cup Challenge by Yokohama underway. We are green. Sloan Yuri, good start, moving in, but a nice move there. Madison Snow trying to get that inside, take it away from a great start. 
No, is he going to be able to do it? He's down to the inside. Jeremy side by side at the exit of two. Race one from Baltimore. Round 11 of the GT3 Cup Challenge started off with Sloan Uri on pole position after Madison Snow's qualifying incident, which threw out his top lap time as he caused the red flag in the qualifying session. But it was Brett Sandberg who had the best start from P8 to P3 and really setting himself up for a great result. It was also a great start from the Pullman Sloan Uri. He made a second and a half on the field after just two laps, whilst behind him his teammate Michael Mills was applying the pressure to Craig Durson. Angel Benitez Jr. was looking to make up some points by moving through the field after a poor qualifying session. And while Mills was distracted with Durson ahead of him, Angel made his move. Looks to the inside, now down into this, made it work, beautiful pass, and Benitez is through, now trying to charge back up and salvage something in terms of points. In the gold class, there was also a battle for P2. 37, that is another of our uh, Masters competitors, but in the gold category, Dave Williams for TPC Racing. But it was Benitez Senior who had an off that caused a safety car, punching the field back up and ironically helping his son. When the Porsche Panamera safety car was withdrawn, Madison immediately applied the pressure at the front of the field. Sloan Uri seemed to have it under control, but then slightly offline, loses the back end of the car and the position. Behind them, Benitez and Mills having a cracking battle. It's Mills Benitez, then Benitez Mills, and finally Angel makes it stick. Now at the head of the field, Madison has taken charge and is extending the gap. Brett Sandberg having another great run and David Estella of True Speed are chasing. Well, there's a problem for that. Is that Benitez? That is Benitez. 25 is the number, and he is at a crawl. Something has called. Oh, this is horrible for that championship. It certainly is. He knows his race is over. Down the field after his spin, Sloan Uri is putting pressure on the gold class leader, Michael Levitas. But another miscalculation by Sloan puts him in the wall and ends his race there and then. I he just got a little offline, and I think he may have picked up some uh, clag. Now he's got a. I think he broke the suspension on that left front corner. But there's action of plenty at the front of the field too, as Jerson and Mills are still battling. Now Michael Mills, he's got his focus back together again, I think now he's pulled out a little bit of a, a margin over that number 27 Momo car of Craig Jerson. Sandberg and Estella are giving good value too. Yes, yeah, Sandberg's been very defensive here. Both of them, young guns doing a superb job. Finally, Estella gets by on turn number one. Right around the outside. He's got the inside for this little kink. But Sandberg going to try it as well. Almost into the wall. And then Sandberg bumping, boring, trading paint and spinning, trying to keep up with the hairpin. That's it. A little bit too greedy on the throttle, trying to come out, giving it everything he could. So Madison Snow takes the win on the streets of Baltimore, followed by David Estella and Michael Mills in Platinum. And for Angel Benitez Jr., a mechanical DNF pushing him further away from Madison Snow in the run for the championship. Craig Durson wins in Masters, Michael Levitas once again the winner in the gold category. A sprint race in time, but with the extreme heat and endurance for all the drivers. Round 12 of the Porsche IMSA GT3 Cup Challenge by Yokohama, and it's the second race on the streets of Baltimore. And as the green flag drops, it's drama straight away, as Eduardo Cisnero spins, causing an accident, six cars involved, and once again the Porsche Panamera safety car is out on the streets. There's big names involved as Gold Class Championship leader Michael Levitas is mixed up in the incident causing his retirement. And also David Estella and Craig Dewison mixed up in it too. It was better news for Madison Snow though. Starting 10th out of 16 after his qualifying shunt, he'd made up some good positions and by the end of lap one was ahead of his championship competitor Angel Benitez Jr. On the restart, Brett Sandberg set himself up for a dive down the inside to turn one. At the front, the young guns were having their own shootout. Benitez fought his way back in front of Madison Snow, with Colin Thompson in the mix between the three of them. Madison Snow finally makes his move on Thompson, while Brett Sandberg and Benitez are battling it out into turn one. In some close wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing into the braking area, Angel Benitez broke part of his front suspension, retiring him from the race, Brett Sandberg was able to retain his position. 
so it's a top step of the podium for Sloan Uri after a perfect race from pole position. Madison Snow in the number 62 takes second place with Brett Sandberg having another great run and turning it into a third place on the podium. You now I kept getting a, a radio communication telling me my gaps It started out 8 seconds, 10 seconds, 12 seconds and then by the end of the race it was 18 seconds so you know, I, I didn't care how far back they were I just knew I was going to drive 100% every single lap and finish whatever I finish and hold on to the first place. In the gold category, David Williams of TPC Racing is followed home by Danny Gianfrancesco and Casey Kuhlman once again has a victory in the Masters. Terrible race for Michael Levitas, the Maryland native with a lot of supporters on the grounds, failing to see the chequered flag. So as we leave the streets of Baltimore after rounds 11 and 12 of the Porsche IMSA GT3 Cup Challenge by Yokohama, here are the point standings. Madison Snow extends his championship lead and now stands on 188 points. Sloan Uri moves to second in the championship after a poor weekend for Angel Benitez Jr, who's dropped down to third. In Masters, Casey Kuhlman now leads after Craig Durson's last round DNF and Michael Levitas, despite his wars, still leads in gold. That's it from Baltimore. Join us next time from Austin, Texas at the Circuit of the Americas for rounds 13 and 14 of the Porsche IMSA GT3 Cup Challenge by Yokohama.